Hey fellow farmers, today we're going to talk about uh, fixing up a creek, a branch, or a gully for your livestock. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and we'll show you how we did ours and, and see what you think about it. Fencing off a, a creek or a gully or a branch is, is uh, always been difficult for, for farmers because of, of washouts and and things of that nature. Having something that'll that'll hold livestock in and yet and yet let the creek go and, and all the debris that goes with a flood when it happens is a real problem. So today we're going to talk about what we've done here and, and see if it's an idea you might want to implement on your farm. Uh, we, we've really seen, when, when we got this place, we saw where, when I was doing research, that it had two basic concepts. You know, people had these elaborate methods of, of blocking livestock away from creeks and branches, and then they had little simple things. And, you know, there was advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, work, uh, expense, time, putting it up. But, but neither did seem to be just foolproof and, and very little maintenance. So we set out to find something that we could do that we thought would be economical and very little maintenance. And uh, that's what we're gonna show you today. So come with us and let's show you what else, what all we got. Okay guys, it all starts, our, the, what we, the system we done, it all starts with uh, uh, a, solar, a solar panel and some, a solar charger. Uh, what we used was electricity to block ours off and it starts right here they, This is a solar panel uh, We buy ours from Harbor Freight. They're real inexpensive and if we don't need a lot of power uh, on a, If it's just a short fence We they, they sell these in three to a pack three or four to a pack and we'll split them up and just use one where it's not drawing a lot of power and uh that that's what we use for our, our power source. We just got a a weatherproof box that, that houses three components. One is up here is our solar controller. It regulates the power going to our battery and then from there we just got a hooked up a DC charger. That's just a basic DC charger that you'd get anywhere and that it draws power off the battery and that's what that's what uh, powers our or creek crossing. Okay guys, now we're down here with the actual creek crossing itself. We run from the solar charger down down here to it with just polytape. You could use any kind of electrical wire. But we, cho we chose to use polytape. And then right here is where it connects to the creek crossing itself. We used aluminum wire and I would highly recommend aluminum wire because it has less sag in it. And it's it's obviously not gonna it rust being, being aluminum. It's, it'll oxidize, but it won't rust. It's gonna last longer. Uh, and the, this we come down through here and put this all the way across the creek with this aluminum wire. Just put insulators up, just like you'd run a fence anywhere. Uh, the secret to this, we've had this about five years, and the secret to no maintenance is having having this electrical wire high enough. As you can see right over here, where the water does get up, see it, it, it's got wash up on that, that barbed wire fence right there. And um, it, so it does get up really high here, but it doesn't get up as high as this is. That, you know, you can't, you've gotta make sure you get this up high enough. But we, we've had it for five years and we, we only do about a year, an hour of maintenance per year. And that's typically at the end of the summer when it's been dry all summer, this will all grow up in vegetation when it's not been flooding. And we'll clean out this vegetation. We'll straighten out some of these, uh, we just call them pitchfork, crow's foot or whatever that, that I put down here to to cover more space to keep the keep the livestock out of this. But wh 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 another thing that makes this work is on this aluminum wire, I've kind of done a pigtail down through there, and it won't let the it won't let it slide much left and right. 
because of kind of like kind of like Chinese handcuffs right here. But it'll still let it spin up. So if, if the water or vegetation or you know debris brush comes through here, it's just going to spin up and let that stuff go on by. And we've drug trees and brushed it just to test it, and it just won't hardly catch anything. Uh, this this has been one of the the nicest things we've we've done and, and done it right the first time. We really didn't even make any modifications once we put this in. But we, to to save from having to put so many strands coming down, we just come down about to a place a uh, a cow or something calf would walk through, and we just kind of put this put this together to cover more area. And we've done this all the way across all the way across the creek. It's got those. And once the once the cattle get into it or livestock, I mean, it, obviously it's well grounded in the uh, creek and all this wet area. Once they get into it one time, that, that, you know, it shocks the crap out of them, and they just they're just not even gonna come back down here. There's no even livestock tracks down here where this is at. You know, I, I'm sure that they uh, they got into it before, and, and that was it. But there's, there's actually livestock on the other side uh, right now, but we don't have any trouble with their livestock getting on us or our livestock getting on them. Uh, it's worked really well for us. Like I said, virtually no, we, we, we come down here at the end of summer, early fall. We may straighten out, some of this may have got wrapped around or something like that right there. We may straighten this out a little bit, clean the vegetation, make sure nothing's on there. And guys, that is it till the next year. I mean, it's just, it's worked flawlessly. And uh, it is it is super hot. It is, I mean, we, we've tested this all the way down at the bottom of these with a, with a red snapper tester and it'll max it out at 9,000. So, I mean, it's, it's super hot. Uh, I believe it would, would keep any kind of livestock right now we've got our yearling bulls in here and if anybody's raised any yearling bulls they know how much trouble they are and they don't uh they don't they don't they don't get out of this uh, of course i told y'all how hot this is a lot of people you know don't know how it feels to get shot by a fence charger and they'll ask you know how, how does it feel to get shot by one and the the two ways i would describe it i don't know how it feels for everybody else but Either, either just getting hit with a, in the back with a baseball bat or if somebody picked you up and you was laying flat and they was holding you up with their, on, laying on their back and you just dropped them and when, they hit the, when you hit the ground that jolt, that's how you'd feel when you get shot by a fence charger. So it, it's not pleasant, but it, it isn't, you know, isn't life threatening either. Fresh as a steak. Could be any fresh or will we still be grazing. Whoa! Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Give us a huge thumbs up. <laughs>